क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous example we have considered the chemical properties of ozone and now in this topic we are going to talk about the estimation of ozone so now let us understand that is how ozone is quantitatively analyzed So friends in this topic we are going to talk about the quantitative analysis of ozone and for that we need basically potassium iodide so potassium iodide is treated with ozone that also in presence of water so as to obtain iodine as a product so now that iodine is now treated with sodium thiosulfate in presence of starch indicator and that also with an environment of a pH that is 9.2 in that case we could find the color change as well as we could also determine the percentage of the ozone by doing titration of it so now what is the reaction behind it that is what i am going to talk about that is in this case we have to consider that is a known amount of potassium iodide so therefore two moles of ki is treated with h2o and that also with an unknown amount of o3 or this o3 or the amount of o3 that is what we have to analyze so in this case basically the o3 will be acting like an oxidizing agent and that's the reason that this ki will turn into two moles of koh along with that of i2 and o2 so this is the io2 that is we know it as iodine so in the form of gas obviously whenever this i2 is basically released we have to treat it with sodium thiosulfate and this is a standard solution of sodium thiosulfate so whenever the reaction will occur obviously that also in presence of a starch indicator there will be color change and this is the product that is what we could get and the name of the product that is what we have over here is known as sodium tetrathionate along with that of two moles of na so by this we can get the end point of this titration and by the certain calculation we can easily determine the percentage of ozone so this is what we have to consider and this is the procedure where we can estimate the quantitative analysis of ozone and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much